Hi everybody, I'm Robin and these are my reflections. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you are returning, welcome back. If you've been chatting with me, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> so I am new to YouTube, um, just giving a little uh, background. I do tarot, oracle, and you know, I just kind of talk about cards. So today I would like to reflect about the spectral world tarot. Um, this is a deck that I had the first edition of, didn't really use it so, so much, but I did use it a little bit. And then I, I saw um, that he was releasing a second edition and um, he had a special, um, if you're new here, I love specials, I love coupons, I like to get my decks, um, you know, I, part of the fun of collecting decks for me for me is uh finding you know sales and things and it's like coupon collector you know people who like to clip coupons i got the same sort of jones and odor <laughs> so um i really enjoy that that's part of the fun for me and for this one uh we were able if you had purchased the first one this one then you were able to get this one uh at a very very reasonable price um you know, as a thank you for purchasing this one, which I was excited about. So I got this one and then I was like, okay, now I have two. I better start using it. So I popped this one and I've actually really been um, using this a lot now. So, you know, everything in its own time. Sometimes you get one thing and it's just not time for it. This came in and, and time is now. I love this deck. Um, I've been using it a lot. The color pops um the cut the size is small enough to do big spreads with which i've been doing some big spreads because i'm filming this at the beginning of january 2023 and in the last week or so i have been doing quite a few large spreads for friends i don't read for if um for anybody but myself and, and friends i don't read for strangers or anything but um yeah, they're smaller cards, so that's nice. And I just like the way that you can just kind of dive really deep into these colors. So I have gotten the best lighting I can get here today. I'm going to go ahead and film this video while I have this good lighting. I, um, well, this preferable lighting. It's not the best lighting, but it's the best I can get in these darker months. I uh, do have some construction going on outside of my house, so if you hear any beeping please excuse it i will be doing a flip through later and i'll put on some music okay so this is the spectral world tarot you can find it on etsy is from benjamin allen simon i will put the link in the description box below and all of the information on where you can find the cards um i will put a link to the etsy shop where i purchased them and you can choose whether you like one or two because they are at this moment when i'm filming this video both for sale which is why I wanted to do this side by side so that people could choose if they think they like the first edition while it's still available or if they prefer the second. So let's take a look at the boxes. You can see they are a little bit different, but not that much, you know. Um, they're basically the same, they're definitely the same material, basically the same design. Um, and the backs are the same, same information. It says this tarot deck contains a kaleidoscope collision of light, color, and whimsy. Every card is hand-painted on canvas with vibrant acrylics, creating 78 unique rainbow works of art. The Spectral World Tarot provides an entirely immersive reading um, experience to give you peace, joy, and a brief venture through the cosmic spectrum. And this one says venture through surreal celestial wonderlands to bring you peace clarity and joy so it's a little a little bit different but basically the same um and then you know spectralworld.com is where you can find his original artwork and um yeah so that's the backs the sides are the same the bottoms just tell you sort of which one was printed when so you know if you're looking at your first or second edition so they're essentially the same right except for the images on the front and a few words on the back. Now, where they do differ is the first edition and the second edition, I believe, have different major arcana. I, when I was using this one, I noticed that there were some changes from this one, which is why I said, oh, I, I should film a side-by-side -side while I have them both, because I don't know if I'll keep both in my collection. But, um, you know, right now I'm, I'm using this one quite a bit, and I didn't use this one that much, and I don't know why that is. So if I ever rehomed one, it would be this one because right now I'm not connected to this one. I'm super connected to this one, the second. However, 
Um, I liked this one when I got it. it. I think it just wasn't the time. And um, one of the things that really pushed me to want to film this is because I think this is nice and it's actually cheaper on Etsy. So I was like, let me just let people know. Um, let me put this out here. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, let's open them up. So this is the first edition, you know, that they both come in a tuck box. These cards are um, a little bit larger than bridge size. So if this is a normal size tarot card, let me just get a normal size card for you. This is a normal size tarot card. These cards are a little bit wider and quite a bit shorter than a normal size tarot card. Um, when I flip them over, you will, I will be, it'll be more clear that the images are bridge size and then there's a border. Um, the images are poker size, poker or bridge size. I don't know, playing card size. And then there's a border around that make the cards just a little bit bigger than a playing card. But the actual images are actual playing card size. Um, so when I first got the deck, I thought, oh, these are going to be too small for my old eyes to be able to see any of the images. I can't see <laughs> as it is. So um, why are they so small? But to be honest, I can see very clearly these images, even with my old eyes and um, you know, I like the small size. I've come to like the small size. The biggest difference between the first and second edition, there are some differences, like I said, and the biggest difference is that the second edition does come with a little book. This is just his business card, and that is where you can find um, his stuff. I will post the FC shop below. Um, and then the second edition does come with a little, a little pamphlet, a little white book that does have in it um, information for each card and the book is really good because it tells you what you're looking at in the card for instance the fool says the fool grins with glee surrounded by the glittering hues of a gorgeous world start new journeys fearlessly bringing innocence and optimism with your with you wherever you go if you work towards the best possible outcome you'll at least come close to it and there are always beautiful colors to see along the way reversed be careful not to let brash naivety naivety um, guide you balance optimism with prag pragmatism. So it, it is small. Um, it, but I can, I can see it. I'm the only reason is cause I'm holding it really far away from me so I can get it under the camera, but, um, I can see, I can see this with my glasses on fine. It is small though. Um, and you know, the book does give you like, if you want to, so that's you. Now, this book you can find online um, and there's more information on the online book. There's spreads and all kinds of things. This book um, does not have that. It just has like, you know, what you would need on the go if you were taking the deck with you. And it is a, I would call this a pocket size deck. So it would be a good on the go deck if you wanted to take it with you somewhere. So that's the little book that comes with the second edition. The first edition only comes with the PDF. Just be aware of that if you want a little book. The PDF is good too, though, if you're on the go. <laughs> you can always pop it on your phone. You know, we have we have uh, PDF readers on our phone these days. So those are the backs. The, the backs are the same on both cards. So let's, uh, I've put them back in order. So we can see, and I am just going to do a side-by-side -side flip through. I'm not going to talk because I'm going to try to put some music over it. So you guys can just look at the cards and see what you think. Um, so let me just zoom you in real quick. They are, okay, so the card stock. They're a little, this, both of them have the same card stock. Um, they don't come edged. They do come with this black border, which is actually very helpful when you're laying the cards out. And I'll show you that at the end um, because it separates all of the Lisa frankness of it all. I love these cards. They remind me of my childhood and stickers I used to collect when I was a kid and diaries and things and stationery. And they make me very happy to look at. So um, they're also very smart. And you'll see as we go along. But um, the card stock is a very good chord playing card stock. No, it's not. Um, it's like a semi-gloss. Um, so it's not. This is going to be like what you would. It's a little thinner than playing card stock. Um, I think you would find this in like. Oh, I can't even. 
I really can't even compare it to anything else, but it shuffles really well and it doesn't hold a bend because I've been using them. So know that they do chip a little. So if that bothers you, you know, I'll probably just edge mine in black. And then because it does have a black border as it chips, I can just go over it with black and, and I'll never see the chipping. But chipping doesn't bother me that much. But if it does, you know, know that. Um, yep. And so those are the cards. Let's zoom in and take a look at these side by side. Zoom in. Okay, here we go.
right. So what I've done here is I've pulled out every card that I can see with my own eyes that are different. And I thought we'd just look at them side by side, just these cards to see if, you know, we can find any differences that we think make a difference. And also for myself, I wanted to see, uh, do a sort of, I like this one better. I like that one better to see which deck I want to keep in my collection. Um, or maybe I'll keep them both. At the moment, I'm liking, this is the first edition on the on this side. I don't know what side that is on your screen. And this is the second. All right. So let's go through them. Um, I like this one better, but maybe just because I'm used to looking at it, I like that the, um, that the, the mask is just a little bit bigger, but there's really not much, um, difference. I did see that it's clear this full hat on, on this second edition. So I guess I'll keep a little tally here on which one I like better. So this one, the first edition wins, second edition, nope. <laughs> All right. So for this one, definitely liking the second better for myself. I don't know why. I think I just like the cup better. They're both pretty. <laughs> so that's one for the second. And this one, I'm liking the second edition better. And I think it's just because the the image looks fuller to me. It looks more um, complete. But I did like the the hand of Fatima in the first. Like the, the uh, It's not the hand of Fatima, but it kind of feels like it to me. And I that's kind of how I read it. Um, so, I, you know, I don't know. I think both of these win for me. Let's see. What I love about these images is that um, the artist painted them on canvas. And sometimes even with my old eyes and these small cards, they're not that small, um, but they're smaller than normal tarot. I can still see the canvas texture in the image that's scanned on the card, which is kind of nice. y'all. It's kind of nice. Um, it does make you feel like you're reading with something textured and real. Um Okay, so for these, I think I'm going to go with two. Okay, for this one, ooh, this is a difficult one. I like the crown, so I'm going to go with two. Oh, this one was hard. I like both of these. Um, love them both, keeping both. I mean, I'm keeping all, but, you know, for the tally. <laughs> now, for this one, I actually like the lovers on the first one better because there's people, but I feel like what I've noticed the most about, um, about them, uh, uh, the changes is that they've removed a lot of the people, um, uh, the beings in the pictures and made it more just sort of energy, um, which is nice. So it's more cohesive in the second one where in this one, I like the first one better. Um, where in the first one, there was a there were some other beings other beings that were creating energy and in this one it seems like they've removed um a lot more of the beings now this was tough i like both of these um love this line i like that the face is so prominent in this one um with the person here very small and the lemniscate at the top but this one whoo y'all when I first saw this, I was like, wow, what a way to use color and to paint an energy. How, you know, if you were to paint the energy for the strength card, this would be it, right? Like, <laughs> I mean, obviously, but I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. Like, I love both of these. This I loved. I think it's probably the one that made me buy the card. So we're keeping both. So... Um, I prefer the first in this one. I prefer the first in this one. I think I prefer the second. And now I'm just going by like what my eyes want to feast on, right? Because I like, I mean, they're both nice. I like the snake in this one, but um, visually uh, this feels more balanced to me. So I'm going to choose that one. Um, I like the second in this one better. No, actually, you know, I like both of these. I like the rawness in this image. I like how raw it feels. Um, 
how this feels more like a photograph than a painting, you know? Um, and for the death card to feel so raw and feel like a raw picture of a skull is, is nice. I like that for the death card. Um, but I, I like the composition of this. So I'm keeping both these in my I like pile. Um, hmm. This is more energetic. This is more a picture, right? And I, I do enjoy this picture. This picture is pulling me more towards that Lisa Frank look, you know? <laughs> that thing, if you know, you know. If you know Lisa Frank, then you know what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> so I like this one better because it reminds me of my childhood. I mean, I mean, these are frivolous reasons, guys. Like, both of these decks are stunning. Um, I am really just giving you, like, my... Uh, you know, my frivolous reasons. And I am doing this for myself because I'm trying to decide and I figured I'd record it while I'm doing it. Um, but I may keep both of these, to be honest. I like this one better, first edition. Um, I may keep both of these because they're small. They don't take a lot of space in my collection. And I do like that the size of them. I like the second edition better here. Um, I like that the size of them is small enough that I can do large spreads. Um, mm. I don't have a lot of immersive decks like this that I can do large spreads with. Second better here. Um, so uh, I, I, I'm, a, I'm excited about having two. I wish I might edge them in separate colors so that I can, if I wanted to combine them, I could um, do that. Although oh, using this as a clarifier, or clarifying this with something less uh, busy would probably be, probably be the better way to go, right? I prefer this one because of the images here. Uh, ooh. I don't know, guys. Which one do you like? I like them both. I'm keeping them both. I mean, I'm keeping all of these, but like I said, just for frivolous uh, entertainment purposes only. <laughs> um, yeah. My eyes like this one. Now, this is the one that when I pulled this card in my spread when I was using the deck is the one that made me realize that the cards, there were some different cards because I remembered that there was a person in this one. And this one, they've removed the person. I don't know how I feel about that yet. Um, they've also removed the these in the corners. So it's leaning further away from Rider weight, which I'm OK with. I'm cool with that. Um, I liked this egg sort of image here. I'm not sure what's happening in this one. So I think I'm going to go with the first for me. Um, okay. So now we get into the ace of wands. Definitely my eyes prefer the first better. Same here, but I mean, this is just like aesthetic reasons. They're both lovely. Same here. I prefer the first. Um, and this one, I think I prefer the second image because to me, it's, it's interesting. Um, there wasn't much difference here, but I thought I saw. Oh, yeah. In the middle here, there's some differences. And I'm not sure exactly what that is going to do for the reading. I haven't really used this card in a reading yet. Um but there are differences there. I'm going to keep both because I don't know. I don't, you know, they look the same, basically. Um, five of coins. Hmm. I think for me, I like the first better, but I like the second just fine. Um, yeah, here, same. First better, but second just fine. And like I said, at the time I'm filming this, January 2023. Actually, this might be my first video that I'm filming this year. <laughs> That's exciting. Oh, did I film? No, this is it. Wow. Welcome to 2023, YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah, that's cool. So I, um, at the time I'm filming this, you can still get the first one if you prefer it. Um, the second one is beautiful as well. So if you can't get the first one, you know, I hope that this video will show you that you didn't miss out on anything. Which one? I like the first one better here. And I actually like the second one better here. <laughs> I think I like the removal, the 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 lack of bull. But in this one, 
and the queen. Oh, wait, what have I done here? Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Wait, I'm not comparing the right ones. Wait, here's night and night. Here we go. So I was comparing the wrong ones. I had them out of order. So this is night and night. Um, I prefer this one. It's from the second. And this is queen and queen. It looks like they're the same. I think I thought they were different because um I had them out of order. Yeah. So these, the queen and king, are the same. Um, I think, let me just put them back in their right boxes. <laughs> Hold, please. <laughs> um, the king and queen are the same. I think I just thought they were different because I had them out of order a little bit. So they'll probably be out of order in the flip through. I apologize for that. I had to put them all back in order real quick um, to do this video. So, okay. All right. So let's see. Let's tally them up. So this is the first edition of my favorites. And of the different ones, and this is the second edition, my favorites of the different ones. Oh, 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 why is this? Okay. Hang on. What have I done? <laughs> I'm always messing stuff up, I swear. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, so first edition. I'm trying not to mix them up. That's why I'm, that's why I'm being so crazy right now. I don't want to mix them up because I don't have them edged. I do need to go ahead, if I'm going to keep them both, edge them in different colors so that I don't confuse the cards because a lot of them really are the same. <laughs> and they're on the exact same card stock with the exact same back. So, um, all right, so let's tally. First edition, how many do I like? Seventeen is the final tally on the first. And for the second, how many do I like? Eighteen. So the second one by a stretch, a stretch, guys. I uh, I liked seventeen of the different ones on the first, <laughs> and eighteen. And some of them I like the same on both, right? So, yeah. So that is um, the spectral world. Thanks for coming along on the journey with me. I am going to give these a quick shuffle. Let me just put them back in their boxes so that I don't confuse um, which ones go where. So this is the second edition. And this one is the first edition. So I am just going to give them a quick shuffle and um, read from the guidebook of the second edition, which for the, like I said, for the first edition, you can, um, you can get the guidebook by PDF. Um, it is quite helpful in knowing what it is that you are looking at if you're having trouble seeing what he wanted you to see in the image, right? I'm shuffling the second edition. You can, this first edition has the exact same cardstock. Um, it shuffles. Oh, wow. It shuffles like a dream. I I might have messed that up a little bit, but it does shuffle really well. I'm holding the cards really far away from me um, because I'm trying to get it under the camera, but they do shuffle really well. And you can see that they are small, so I can get a lot in the frame here. Like if you're doing a spread with, you know, on camera or something. Let's see. Let's look at how many I can get in the frame. See? And then I can get a whole nother row down here. Yep. So they're wonderful. Um, and you can get so many. Excuse my lighting. I was trying to make sure that the color showed up. Um, it's dreary, right, this time of year. But anyways, all right, so let's read a card. Let's read one major and one minor. We'll take the Three of Swords and the Lovers. Okay. So let's start with the Lovers. Um, okay, there's the M tree for the Lovers. It says, Lovers, two trees intertwine. This is, I saw I'm reading this one. Two trees intertwine. Let me hold it up for you. 
in a transcendent chemical reaction, one a sensual apple tree coiled with a serpent, the other a fire-laced tree of passion. This could be a pivotal moment in your relationships. Carefully evaluate how you choose to relate to those you love. Reversed. Oh, hang on, sorry. It may be time for a long relationship to end. Even the most passionate connections can have cataclysmic failures. Help pick up the pieces of broken connections. And so that's the lovers. And now let's do the three of swords. And it is really nice because they have images in here. Um, so if you did get them mixed up, you could always refer back to the images in the book to help you sort them. All right. So the three of swords. Three fencing swords impale a mechanical heart that pumps the chromatic lifeblood of prosperity. Ooh, I like that. This signifies a time of severe heartbreak and emotional turmoil. Wait for the rains to clear and focus on the faint rainbow. What, reversed. While some emotional pain may have befallen you, you're doing your best with a bad situation. You survived. Now, I don't know how. I mean, you know, some people don't read this card that way. I know. Um, and some people don't like three swords and a heart, but I do like the idea of, you know, dealing with turmoil because emotional turmoil does become mental, doesn't it? It actually traps you in your mind. Um, I think most of us, if you're old enough, have been there. So, um, yeah, that's the three of swords and that is the spectral world tarot. So I will leave you with that. Thank you for coming along on this ride with me. I hope that it was helpful for anybody who was thinking about maybe purchasing one or the other or both. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you um, want to see more of my videos, like I said, I talk about cards, tarot, oracle, sometimes playing cards, all kind of cards. Um, if you want to see more of my videos, Subscribe. I've, I put them out um, periodically. I'm thinking my favorite number is five. So I'm considering uh, putting one out every five days. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> so um, yeah, stay until I see you again. Um, stay safe and be blessed. Bye now.